and welcome to another Jack Welding Specialist video. I'm Fergus and I'm here at my new workshop um, in, uh, in uh, yeah, in somewhere. So um, I have moved a lot of my stuff over here from my other workshop. Um, I'm not going to be using that one as uh, this one's nice and dry and it has walls and electric win uh, windows, um, electric doors, which is great. Um, so I'll just turn it around and show you a little bit of what it's like inside at the minute. I've still got to sort out a lot of stuff, um, but yeah. This is the workshop, so there's the main bit here and a room at the back. Um, it is, still needs a bit of sorting out, um, as you've seen in previous videos of my workshops. Um, they are workshops. Um, so. Yeah, there's stuff that needs to get sorted out. Um, but we can make things and get jobs done, so that's the main thing. Tea room in here, I'm going to try and sort out the back table a bit more when I've done a few jobs. Um, got this Mark III Golf. Um, I've got a few videos to put out about this. Um, and, uh, yeah, I have been meaning to put another video out of the JAG XJC project. Um, I'd had a nightmare finding, trying to well, trying to find video software where as I was using the Windows one and it decided it didn't work again. So I've um, downloaded DaVinci and I'm going to see how that goes. And hopefully I should be able to get some videos back out. So at the minute I'm working on this Ford console. Um, need to do some chassis repairs on, on this as it was uh, left on a spit jig. Um, like, so, so this is the floor pan and it's attached to these back panels. And here you can see it was chopped away and left on a spit jig by the chassis rails. So then it was able to just kind of, well, sag. And you can see in there, move the light, um, that it had um, it pushed all of that up. <clears throat> Thing around here. So yeah, there's a big gap at the front there. Um, and then around here you can see um, this crumpling, which is not ideal. So. Um, I really want to remove um, um, I think I want to try and remove like a good amount of these wheel arch turrets um, or like chop off the bottom sections here and then may try and maybe remove the whole floor pan in one and repair or make new chassis legs for the backs here, as I think that will be the most efficient way of doing it. But in order that, to do that, I need to support all this back metal work here. So, you know, because if I was to chop, um, so I need to kind of adjust the shape of this really. Um, so if I was to remove this, and this, then the, the this whole back panel, and also cut this way, then I am confident that this body would, you know, try and sag and deform. So I need to make a, a frame to support it, to support the, the tin work here, whilst I do the inner chassis work. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to fathom and work out now. So I'm going to get some box section steel tomorrow in there. Um, and I've also got a box of these big wheels. I think they're from mowers. So I'm going to try and um, make it so it can support the frame and also still roll around so I can take the back axle off and send that off for blasting and all the other bits. Um, for prep, uh, so they can be painted all nice and black. So, 
So yeah, that's how we're going at the minute. Um, I think we're going to do a video on making this frame jig. So once I've got all the parts for it, I'll do a kind of a walkthrough of quickly how it goes together. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is what's going on at the minute. Um, just had my MIG welder repaired, um, which is quite good. Um, and yeah, all sorts going on. So yeah, I'm going to um, continue with this and work out what I'm going to do, do with the frame and then come back with a video on these things. So yeah, thank you for watching and um, see you in the next one.